What's up? It's Ballistic, Ballistic Beats, BallisticProductions.com Back with another MacBook video. So everybody's been asking how the MacBook Air M1 version runs Logic Pro and I'm gonna be messing with that today. Um, Logic is one of the only music apps so far that is actually running natively and a reason for that is because Apple makes Logic and Apple make the MacBook. So of course they got their whole suite of stuff running A1 first and that includes Logic, Final Cut, and everything else from them. Uh, the add-ons and everything that goes along with those. So without further ado, you can hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the comment section um anytime during this and let me know if there's anything i didn't cover that you want to see anything you want to see in a particular video on its own later on whatever let me know i do respond you can check it out i respond to just about everybody if it's asking something reasonable um also the subscriptions help i'm finally monetized so the better these videos can do y'all help me out I can help you out even more moving forward. All right, so I'm actually going to go into the Finder and go into Applications and find Logic here. And there's actually two ways to run this. If I go to Get Info, uh, there's a checkbox here that says Open Using Rosetta. You can turn that on or off. Uh, that actually can run natively if you have it unchecked. That way uh, it'll run as it's supposed to per uh, all the updates and everything that uh, Apple did to make everything run utilizing the full potential of the M1 chip. The only thing with that, a lot of the plugins aren't optimized for it yet. So running with uh, the native version can put a little bit more stress on the uh, each individual plugin needing to be translated or whatnot. So if that makes sense but you can hit this checkbox and that way logic itself is running through Rosetta just as all the other apps that aren't all the way optimized it seems counterproductive but what that does is if logic overall is running already been translated those apps will run as they should in logic and it's not like additional translations needed um, for each plugin because the whole box of logic if that makes sense it probably don't make sense but i'm trying to <laughs> trying to explain it if it's overall been translated on its own then each plugin will run in logic versus going through a translator 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 or rosetta 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 for each one and causing a lot more strain on the specs the cpu the memory and all of that in theory in theory so let's see what it actually does I'm gonna try to um, speed it up a little bit this time um, so I'll cut some of it out as far as stacking track out the track and then just show some of the key points um, so yeah we're gonna start with the Rosetta version I'm gonna open a new track it's running through the speakers cool all right so this time I'm gonna try to speed it up. Like I said, um, I got the basic, super basic chords here. It's not nothing dope or nothing. It's just some chords to do this test. Um, gonna start with one, copy it down, and pick random sounds. I try to pick more arps and pads and stuff like that, but it'll be some of everything uh, just to really stress it. Again, just like the others, this is running straight off a of battery no cables connected no interface no nothing so we're gonna really see what it does on its own and that'll give a good gauge of what you can do if you're just out and about and want to whip the MacBook out and uh, lay something down so let's go
right, we have five Omnispheres active right now. I'm going to keep it going. Ten right now. It's using about six gigs of memory, and it says it's using a gig, 1.1 gigs of swap memory, also, which is basically using the SSD as memory, extra memory. So right now I'm at 15 Omnispheres and I don't hear any crackles or anything yet. It might start soon, but we'll see how further, how much further we can go. So I'm going to stop that and I'm going to add five more and we'll see how far we can go with that. I'm going to just go through and um, add random sounds for those and then hit play. All right, so here is 20 levels of Omnisphere levels, 20 instances of Omnisphere. Twenty omnispheres running at the same time, chords with arps and pats and everything, and no glitches or anything. That's amazing on a MacBook Air with eight gigs of RAM. Boom. Can I add five more though? All right, so here we go. Twenty-five omnispheres running through Logic, being translated through Rosetta 2. Let's see what it does. That's dope. Who, who, how many of y'all use 25 Omnispheres in one beat? There might be one person that uh, comments, but anybody else, I, I don't believe you. <laughs> Show me a project where you're using 25 instances of Omnisphere. So basically, I say that to say I think this would be a good choice for anybody, especially if you're using Logic and you're looking for something portable to go around and make your music with, because that's amazing. And again, you won't necessarily need the power to use like 25 Omnispheres, but if you use less, that just lets you know that you can run your uh, mixing plugins and all that stuff through there too, and it just has that much power. So um, no matter how you mix them up, if the plugins open and run, you can, do it how you need but no that's dope um where we at i guess i'm gonna do 30 just to try to do it even 30 just to try to make it mess up all right so here we go 30 instances of omnisphere now
I'm confident that it'll go further than that, but that's what we got right now. Um, instead of doing all of that again, I'm actually going to save that and open it running the uh, native version of the app. And we'll see if it can do the same thing. Again, that was running through Rosetta. From what I heard um, from other people that have tested it, it runs better through Rosetta using third-party plugins. It'll run better natively if you're using Alchemy and all the built-in stuff, which actually sounds good too. But we're going to try it with Omnisphere. So again, I'm going to Applications, right-click in Logic, going to Get Info, uncheck and open using Rosetta, and now I will open it uh, natively. Open the most recent project, the test that we just did. All right, so we're gonna start off with the 30 and see what it does. It skipped the first couple uh, seconds. There we go. There we go. Um, apologies, I'm not going to go all the way through. I've seen people that were saying they got like a hundred or eighty something or ninety something like really up there with it um i just wanted to do more of a real world test that's why i added them one by one the way i would if i'm making a beat and listening to it loop and just trying to make sure it does what i would need it to do and what many of y'all would need it to do and i think it it meets that for sure so um again if this helps you in any way, hit the like button and subscribe. I have a lot of dope content on the way. Let me know if there's anything specific you want to see. And not too much else to say. Until next time. Oh, I'm going to try to get back into some music too. Like, this ain't a complete computer channel or nothing. I just wanted to make a handful of these videos. Um, there might be, like, if somebody give me good suggestions, I'll probably make some more. But I'm going to throw some... More music in there too, standalone NPC stuff, uh, synth stuff, and um, probably some Logic, FL Studio, Ableton, the whole nine. But till next time, y'all stay safe and hold it down.